Very good. Now we've got a recreational fisherman here, Dwayne, and we'd like to hear his what he has to say about this. Dwayne, could you come on a seat, please? G'day punters. Uh, some of you who know me know that I'm not usually all that serious. But every now and then, there's something that really gets my knickers in a knot. And this is one of those occasions. Looking around, I see uh, a great number of punters from all different walks of life. We've got, we've got surfers, we've got uh, <laughs> greenies, animal rights activists, recreational anglers, hipsters who've taken their time out so that they're not preening their beards. Um, you know, a, a lot more concerned people. Teachers. Sailing. <laughs> them. Uh, <laughs> people who've managed to drag themselves out of their lounge chairs from out in front of the idiot box, letting go of the remote from out in front of social media pages to let their voice be heard. Uh, what I see before me is unity. A mob of concerned Aussies braving what could be a scorcher of a day to have their voices heard. We as Australians have a long history of living alongside sharks. It's something that most Australians have grown to accept and even hold in great esteem. Let's face it, the humble Noah is fantastic for scaring foreign tourists with, almost as good as the drop bears. You know, it warms every Australian's heart to see a foreign tourist who's too scared to get in the water and scared to walk under a gum tree. Um, <laughs> Thank you. We Australians, however, love the water. We're surrounded by the bloody stuff. I've talked to a few people who are scared of sharks, so they don't go in the ocean. Smart cookies, those ones. Um, we all know the risks associated with going in the oceans, and we weigh up these dangers and we say, bugger it, I'm going for a swim. Uh, it's exceptionally rare to, uh, to get taken by a shark. And when you think of the amount of people that use our beaches every year, that's, that's millions of dangling little tantalising tasty limbs that you guys are teasing the sharks with. Uh, I have a surfer mate, he's a straight up guy, and uh, I was asking him about it and he said, if I get taken by a shark when I'm surfing, that's just my destiny. I said to him, what, would you want them to hunt the shark and kill it? And he said, no way. Actually. He was a little bit harsher than that, but I'm trying to be good. Um, so, as mentioned, I'm a recreational fisherman, or rec fisho, as we like to be known. And uh, sometimes we get a bit of a bad rap. Some people think that we might actually support a shark cull. Now, I talk to some of my rec fisho brothers and sisters, and not one of them supports this. Not one. Not one single one. I mean... I mean, that guy who caught the shark in WA on, on Australia Day of all days didn't even know what species it was. He was close enough to shoot it four times. One, two, three, duh, I think it's a bull shark. You bloody amateur. The government needs to wake up. What a ridiculous idea, baiting lines so close to popular swimming beaches. Are serious parts of their brain missing or what? Yeah. Sharks migrate vast distances. Now if you swam from Africa to Australia, you'd hit your first tuck shop too. <laughs> They've got thousands of tiny paws in their noses that, that help make up this very, very fantastic sensory organ. They can detect one drop of blood in more than four and a half million litres of water. So setting up these drum lines everywhere is doing a bloody good job of burying up these beaches that they're trying to protect. Yeah. Yeah. Plus the fact that basically you catch a shark that puts more blood in the water and then it thrashes around, what do you think that's going to attract? Attract more sharks. It's not going to attract Flame and Nemo, is it? <laughs> it's a no-brainer, unfortunately, instituted by people with no brains. Woo! I mean... Yeah! I mean, I'm dopey, like, I'm really, I'm bloody stupid. 
but I'm an intellectual giant compared to the people behind this shark cult. I mean, the cult is surely designed to placate those dim-witted enough to think it's going to make one iota of difference in shark attack fatalities. Here's an idea. Instead of a three metre minimum length for sharks, why don't we have a three metre minimum height for beachgoers, right? That will stop shark fatalities without hurting anyone or anything. Tell me why that's a bad idea. Tell me why that's any worse an idea than a shark cull. Right. We all have choices. Smoking and drinking is a choice. But you can choose to partake. Jumping out of aeroplanes. That can end badly, but I'm not going to stop you from doing it if you want to. I mean, if a skier gets killed by an av avalanche, you don't go out and cull the snow. <laughs> right. It's a natural occurrence, and you can still choose not to put yourself at risk. At <laughs> Sharks are part of our national identity. You might as well cull Vegemite. We all, as Australians, need to stand up to these politicians and remind them they're supposed to work for us. Yeah. Yeah. They are making the entire Australian populace look like a mob of brainless drongos, which then makes it a national issue. So I think that I should urge all Australians to go and email Greg Hunt uh, and, and get stuck into him. Actually, no, it's not Greg Hunt. It's Mike, until further notice. When he starts showing Australians some respect, we'll give him some in return. Thank you very much. Bloody well said, eh? Bloody well said. I needed a bit of a pick-up. I, I was getting a bit sad standing here, and you, just, you fixed the bidet. Thanks, Dwayne. Um, we're going to get Emma up next who's a very, very passionate... That was fantastic. Yes, yes, you certainly were the... Uh, broke up the, the feeling into realising that there is another world to it than just kill, 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 or well, hate, right. hate, hate, or love, love, love. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 well, you know, I, I mean, no. it, it's, uh, it's a very important issue, and, I mean, you're an absolute legend, really, like... Uh, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's legendary in itself, isn't it, you know, so, but, um, yeah, like...